Hey guys, welcome into a new series. We are back. We are in Bloomfield, Canada. North of the border. This farm here is fairly small. Has the potential to be a big deal, I feel. So this was my uncle's farm. He has decided he does not want to run it anymore. And it came down to me and two cousins. As to who was going to run it, if anybody wanted to run it, what the deal was. So we have decided as a family, basically, my uncle said, you know, you can buy out your cousin's share if he doesn't want to do it. $400,000. And the farm is yours to take it over. Not a ton of acreage, but for $400,000, can't go wrong. Quick little tour here. He really had a nice place. This is the shop. Operating lift. Close your eyes. We have an anti-gravity pickup truck here. Just hanging out. 3500 HD. No, don't walk underneath. Oh, there we go. There we go. I love farms, him. Anyway, yeah, I feel like this is a very well set up farm. I enjoyed, side note, building this one for sure. This was fun to build. We're going to take you on a little tour, check out the equipment. For anybody that's in Simulation Station's Discord, you have probably seen me building it out, figuring it out, but here it is. So this is the corn dryer setup. It does function, surprisingly. I didn't expect it to, but if you turn on each individual auger, the corn will go from the wet bin all the way to the dry bin without too much intervention. A little finicky on that final auger, but it's to be expected. We have a big old lineup of harvestors there. Five harvestors and an old original stave silo. And this shop. I'm excited about this. So in the early stages, it does have tin on the roof. So I do plan, I will be storing stuff in here during the construction phase as much as the crew will let me. But yeah, that is going to be huge. That is a lot of square footage for some cold storage. Plan is basically the identical shed to this one here. So very, very nice shed walking through our equipment here we've got our case ih dc 133 grain drill here a uh, nice little grain cart silage cart the john deere 7000 i feel like that's a classic a couple gravity wagons and the massive ferguson i call it very nice baler. Super excited to get that one out into the fields. So, come down the driveway here. Another nice little building. I love the tall, high doors there to get the combines in. Speaking of, this will be the first time I'm running a red combine, the 1688. Don't know whether I'm excited about that or not, but maybe that'll be an upgrade in the future. We've always ran New Holland combines, and we have the Kloss Jaguar here. Chemical cabinet, currently empty. Yeah, I feel like this is a very nice little shop, storage. Like I said, I love that tall door. A little finicky on that button, I wonder. That switch doesn't appear to work. Here is the horn head for that case and the workshop 
So this one too, nice high doors. Got our air compressor. Doesn't appear that I'll be filling up any tires with it, with that attachment. But yeah, workshop trigger here. This one's super nice because anything out on the aprons is also included so you can park out front there and fix up anything you need to. We've got the 3020 here with the 148 loader. The 4440 with the 603R. Loader feels a little goofy on this one, but I just moved in here. It wasn't my equipment. And a 4755 as the big dog here. It's got some saddle tanks. Here is the grain header, a header cart, and pressure washer just outside the building here. Doors closed up. And I think from here we should jump in the truck. We'll go check out the uh, cattle barns, the beef lot. And then maybe take a little drive around the map and check it out a little bit. Seem to be struggling with doors and triggers today. To me, this truck has a fantastic startup sound in idle, but the sounds while driving under acceleration not not ideal. But pretty limited on decent trucks, so. The TLX 1982 is good, but the suspension is very shaky at best if you've got a fifth wheel trailer on it, which I do run quite a bit. This one feels much more stable and planted, but we'll come up around the corner. Here is a little silo set up for the grain side of the operation. Uh, butler shed which will be used as hay storage. And we've got the cloth attachments. And here we are, beef lot number one. There are three buildable beef lot plots inside of that, so this does hold 4,000 head of cattle. This field out front I plan to plant some grass, keep some hay bales close by. But let's go ahead and bomb the hill. I do own this plot of woods here. My intentions, I think, are going to be during the off seasons to get in here and cut down some trees. You can see I've already cut down one strip worth and sold a few off. Got three laying on the ground still here. But I will be cutting that down, selling that off, doing everything I can to pay off that $400,000 loan. And this, it'll either be a nice field or I can add on to the farm, the bigger yard going. There is that. It appears it doesn't take too long. I mean, this is just one row of trees down and it opened up a pretty good chunk. It is rough in there though. Not smooth by any stretch of the imagination. But yeah, from here, I think we will head on out. I do love this driveway coming out. It feels very private, secluded. We're kind of just on our own up here. The northwest corner. There is one small residence on that road off to the side there. It's an elderly lady, super sweet. 
she said she is happy to see excitement on the farm again. She is more than ready to laugh at the silly American coming up here trying to run a farm. Here is the animal dealer, straight across the road. That is super nice, nice and close for me. Up around the corner, we're gonna run into the gas station here on the right. One of two that we have in town. Couple residences on the left. Nice little barn. More of the industrial zoned area. Here we have our grain cell. And I do believe this is the train loading point as well. Another farm here on the right. I haven't met too many of the locals yet, so we've got plenty of mingling and talking to do. Let's see if we can't get some help as we continue to grow. Just gotta stop here and think. This, I'm pretty sure that's just a field access road here to the right, but I know there is a road that'll bring us to the south side of the map here. Here's the dairy cell point. As a beef guy, I won't be doing too much business there. But we will bomb down this incredibly narrow road. Really just feels like field roads, field access points as well, but. There, the Midwesterner in me loves to see that. Nice cornfield. Good to know that it is possible because I will, I intended to grow a decent amount of corn for silage. I want to keep those silos full. Keep those beefers fat. old old barn I'm sure that was beautiful at one point not looking like it's being used or has been used for quite some years it's a pretty cool area on this side of the map I feel no fluff over here just a road driving through either surrounded by trees or fields on the right side of you. Kinda looking like it just comes to a dead end though. Not gonna lie. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh no, there's, there's still some gravel here. Not much, but there's some gravel down. And pavement. Here we go. So we have made it to the edge of town. If I'm not mistaken, this is the oil mill here on the right. Yes, the oils. Uh, bowling alley here. Nice little town park. I'm not gonna lie, I like this setup here. That nice stone wall. A bakery here on the left. I haven't explored everything yet, so not 100% on what some of the things are, but I do believe that's the cereal, one of the cell points. Grains. Grocery store. It's a nice little town. I feel like I can get down with this. The number one thing I still have to look into is citizenship. So it's a big gray area for me. Not totally sure how that works. 
Johnson's Farmer's Market here. Very nice. So, yes, I do have to do a deep dive into the legality of owning land here in Canada. We're going to go ahead and get started farming it nonetheless. Worst case scenario, I wasted some time and I'm going to get shipped back to the States. Here is the uh, Cleaver Motors. A couple of those things are mine. The Landall low loader and the semi are not. Interesting place for the dealership to park them, I suppose, but maybe they had something they were doing or planning to do here soon. But the hay rack, the Anderson deal there, that is, we'll say it's on a lease. I don't think it's gonna pick up my Heston bales but I'd like to try. For now, though, we're gonna bring the gooseneck home, come back and get those other things later. Here is the other gas station on the south end of town. A couple more fields and some more corn. Hey, oh, you love to see it. A couple of nice homesteads, some nice barns on this stretch. I do really like the red barn there. We are going to hang off to the left here. I do know just up beyond this tree line on the left side is the biogas plant. Can't imagine we have excess silage at any point, but if any of it starts to go bad, I'm sure they'll take it there. And here on the right, it is technically a field road, but I've I heard from some of the, the few locals I have talked to and met that if you're respectful, they say go ahead and use it. Obviously, you don't want to be whipping through people's fields or acting a fool back here, but they say it's a nice way to kind of get around, especially if you're moving equipment, keep off the main roads. So it's a nice little bonus to have that. Nice wide open fields. Would be a heck of a pipe dream to own all of these. Run this whole area. We're going to jump through the tree line. There is our beef lots. Looking large and in charge up there, kind of commanding that area. We could hang a left there and head up to the farmyard, but they do want to drive up. I don't know there's a whole lot to show, but... To the right up here is the co-op. Currently under construction, they have asked me not to film through here, so we're going to skip ahead back to the main road. And yeah, this will take us back up. We'll run into the animal dealer here at the end, but we'll see what we can see beforehand. Some more fields. I think that's basically it. Some more fields, some houses. I don't want to trespass, but there is a little chunk of gravel. What do we have there? It's a little gravel path. Let's take a quick peek. little greenhouse. Garden shed, just kind of a chill area. It's kind of neat. I'm gonna get the heck out of here though before someone gets pissed. Alright, let's jump back in the truck here. Hightail it out. Plenty of good farmland. I mean, we are not short on fields in this area, that's for sure. Nice little strip of rural houses here. 
And like I said, here's the animal dealer again. We'll hang a left. Not hit a telephone pole. That would be ideal. So you can kind of see up on the right side there that small house. That is that residence I was talking about, that elderly lady. Just hang this little right here. But here we are. Made it back to the farm. I think we'll just throw this. Basically just park wherever. Jack making pretty excessively there, but we're not breaking anything. Not with the service bed. Just trying to think of what we need to see, if anything, that we need to see next here. Again, struggling with the horse and triggers. <laughs> we will uh, sit down, grab a little bite to eat, and maybe we should fire up the case combine and knock some of that wheat down. Alright guys, welcome into the case I H. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm a John Deere guy, but combine performs well. It sounds good. Don't have many complaints. Feels like it's a decent size for what we have. We'll have to see. I don't know. Talked about upgrading earlier, but. If anything, maybe adding another one, keeping this one, adding a slightly bigger one, we'll have to see. Obviously, I'm hunting my chickens here long before they hatch, but it kind of feels like I may or may not be just babbling away because I'm so excited to be back behind the wheel. Combine. I feel like it's been a while. But as we're coming up here on this third headland, just about full up here. Want to be spilling it over the sides, that's for sure. Here we go. We have the 4440 with the two parkers kind of lurking around the corner there. We'll grab those. Go ahead and get on with our first unload here. Pretty exciting, man. One hand, just knocking down wheat. The other, this could be our farm. Barring the legality aspect, moving to Canada. I do want to show you guys a quick look at the finances of how I mentioned the 400000 in debt there. Just to show that that is all in place. And yeah, I think we will. Just a quick little overview of what we own. Two of the plots there being one and seven heavily wooded. Obviously, I think we'll go ahead and jump into a time lapse, knock down this wheat, and we will see you guys when that's done.
are full up again. As you can see from our mini map in the corner there, these yields are atrocious. I did not expect them to be good by any stretch of the imagination. But wow, that is an awful lot of red. Not what I like to see. We're going to go ahead and get this Parker build, which there we go. And honestly, I might just back the combine into the shed where it was parked. Leave the header on it, just get that grain bank under shelter. There's not rain in the forecast, but my luck it would rain anyway. Just pulled into that shed, but already had it in my mind that we're putting it in here, so let's just go ahead. Enough light that we could maybe finish harvesting that field, but after everything, I'm exhausted. I'm ready to go to sleep, wake up in the morning, finish her off then. It's a pretty big deal. We are putting some crop in the bin for the first time. Don't know if I'm going to be able to hold on to it until peak pricing. Yeah, pretty safe to assume actually no, but I'm going to put it in the bin anyway, hold on to it for a while. Still do have 30,000, so I'm not broke, not strapped or worried at the moment. She's pulling, she's pulling hard, but she's pulling. It's good because I really didn't want to use the 4755 for everything. You know what I mean? Big dog on the farm, you know what's going to be doing the tillage. Probably going to be pulling massive furs. Here we are, let's go ahead and jump out and get that tarp off of the pit. Looking good, that was well maintained. We will start with the first dump of the new farm. Looking good. First wagon is almost empty. I was hoping I can get both of them dumping at the same time, but not lucky enough for that. Just put no cigar. Go ahead and get the second one emptied. In a matter of seconds here, we'll drive back around. I think I'm going to throw this under the shed under construction. You can dirty toss it in there. We'll run into the house. Uh, hit the hay. We'll see you in the morning. Actually, before we jump to bed, let's close the gates. Got no point in having fun little ranch gates if you're not going to close them and use them for what they're intended for. Alright, we'll jump in. Hey, we will see you guys in the morning.
All right, good morning, guys. Been early, 6 a.m. Sun's coming up over the treetops, looking good. I don't care what anybody says, Canada is great so far. Fantastic. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Jump in, get this old girl started up. We are still sitting at, what's that, 70 something percent? Head on up around the corner here. Oh. Oh man. What kind of idiot forgets to look at the crop calendar? We're withered, folks. Oh. So I guess it's a good thing we got as much of the field off as we did, but... Marks the uh, end of wheat harvest. Drive over here, close your eyes, everybody, and just dump straight from the combine into the bins. Oh my god. Well, there's something for the guys down at the uh, diner to chat about. American, silly American. Pretty off to a great start. Alright, this has to be possible. You have to be able to dump this. One last go before I go put it into the wagons like I should. Interesting, I guess that makes sense, kind of in a farm sim way. Run over here and hide so we can't see it. Oops, a little more aggressive than I would like to see, but save that project for another day. Terrible. Not great. Go ahead and choose to think of the positives here. The uh, 1688 really performed flawlessly. Not a bad little rig by any stretch of the imagination. That's something to look forward to. We know next year we've got a good solid combine. Going to do exactly what we what we ask of it. Nice little touch with the uh, pallets there. Yields were bad enough that I, well, I couldn't imagine that's more than the way that was two wagons, but yeah. At this point, it's just a little extra fertilizer in the ground, some nitrogen, if that. Unhook the header here back on the cart. We'll drive the combine around the corner to the shop there. We'll pressure wash it. See if there's any maintenance that we need to do. Put away in a good place. Sneak in here behind the truck. No worries. Go 
we got for maintenance on it. Man. Is it just puke? Pick some straw on the shop floor. Good looking old rig. A red rig. Can't complain, it's better than not having one, that's for sure. Hibernate until next year. Let's go ahead and get her tucked right up against these posts here on that side. Just being picky at this point. All right, well, let's jump in the 4440 here. Hooked up to that header, bring that guy into the shop. Mark, I would put the parkers back where they were originally first. Then we'll go put the header away. So let's do that. Done with these guys for a while, so might as well. You know, and then I'm thinking about it. The next thing on my list here is to go down that grass and get some hay going. So let's grab this while we're here. Save a trip. guy parked up right at the edge of the field. I don't know that we're going to jump into it straight away here. Possibly, but it's still pretty early. Let things dry out just a bit. Maybe what we should do is Unhook this gooseneck. Use the pickup truck to pull that header over and back that into the shop there. side hill but we'll find a better spot to park that in the future. For now it'll do just fine. Harder, not harder, right? Mm -hmm. 
Turn to right. Kind of liked the spot where this was parked before, kind of right up against the wall. We'll do the same. It's not harming anything there. It's out of the way. Protect it. Wash it off here. Honestly, pretty surprised at how clean it still looks. Not too bad. No debris in the knives. simple just put it right back here again perfect truck maybe we'll pull down in the driveway here keep that out of the way and I do think that this as good a spot as any to uh, go ahead and end this video off it's a little longer than most but if you guys hung out through the whole thing i appreciate it please hit that thumbs up give me a subscribe if you like the content we've got plenty more coming here thank you and we will see you in the next one